All right, we'll start with Aldi. I got eight quarts of heavy cream. Aldi's heavy cream is significantly cheaper than Walmart and Sam's right now. If you have not watched my latest video comparing unit price at Walmart, Aldi, and Sam's, I will link that in the description below. At Aldi, I also picked up some snacks for my younger kids' lunches, like crunchy granola bars. The best prices I ever find is at Aldi. A 10 pound bag of baking potatoes. Today is my husband's birthday, so we're going to have steak and baked potatoes and broccoli for dinner. I got four more boxes of Aldi's Ritz crackers, and we were in need of a restock with our marinara sauce. We have quite a bit on the shelf from canning our homegrown tomatoes, but it's always nice to have some of the Aldi can jars as well, and they are the least expensive. I already had planned to get apples at Aldi because they are typically the cheapest, but their gala apples were on sale this week, so I got two bags of those. We discovered that cheese in bulk is cheapest at Sam's Club, but I do not like buying pre-shredded cheese, and that's the only way they sell their mozzarella unless you want the chunks of um, fresh mozzarella, which I just prefer to keep these blocks in the fridge. So I got six of those and two packages of American cheese. I also got two bags of pretzels. I have some Aldi rice Chex, so we're gonna go ahead and make some Chex mix from scratch as a snack for the week. Um, my husband and my oldest daughter love Takis. I think they're disgusting. <laughs> And entirely too spicy but I just don't like them at all um, but this would be a fun treat and we'll probably put one of these bags in his birthday basket um, yellow onions were cheapest per pound at Aldi so I picked up two bags for this month I'm not quite sure that that's gonna be enough but I can go back if I need to frozen potatoes are hard to find again I looked for french fries at Aldi and Walmart and they were completely sold out except for maybe the most expensive like if you want to buy the checkers brand um, There was a bag of Orida Frozen french fries that was almost ten dollars. I was like you've got to be kidding me So no french fries, but we did find inexpensive hash browns, which um, my girls love making hash browns with their eggs in the morning Aldi still has the cheapest bacon per pound that I could find. So this was $4.15 a package, and this is a full pound. So I got three of those. They'll last us maybe the next two weeks. We certainly don't. I don't let them make it every day. Um, chicken breasts were, oh, they were $2.49 a pound. I thought they were a little bit more than that. That's really good. I knew that they were the cheapest that I could find at Aldi. I got two trays of those and we'll probably just um, use those in our meals this week. So I will not be sticking those in the freezer. Go ahead and guess in the comments below what my total for all these groceries are. Because I got to be honest, I was really surprised. I feel like for how little meat and what you would consider to be expensive things I got, I was super bummed with my total. <laughs> so go ahead and tell me in the comments what you think my total is for all three stores and I'll share it at the end. All right, moving on to Sam's. Uh, I did go ahead and get 50 pounds of flour. Now in my comparison price video, I did discover that Walmart has the cheapest flour per pound and to be honest, I forgot. <laughs> I always buy the 25 pound bags at Sam's when I need it. And I went to Sam's first. And then when I got to Walmart, I was like, oops. So that's okay. Next time I need flour, I'll definitely get it at Walmart. And these bags used to be about $8 for 25 pounds. And now they are 12. So that is really, really painful. A 50% increase. Uh, we got a bag of cutie oranges and mini cucumbers. I'm going to make some buffalo chicken dip this week and slice up these mini cucumbers, and that would be a great um, lower-carb lunch or a snack for my teenagers. 
Okay, when I priced these out um, per ounce in my comparison video, I had no idea that this was a two pack. That is a lot of pepperoni. And before I freeze it, I will probably break each of these up into three um, smaller baggies and freeze them like that because that's about how much we would use in like one, you know, for one pizza night. Um, these tomatoes are probably on their last three or four days. They were marked down at Walmart, I mean at Sam's, but we love them. So I went ahead and picked them up and we will wash them and let the kids have at it. I love these big um, three pound bags of organic baby carrots. They're only $4 or just over $4. The cost of avocados has gone back down. Um, this five count bag of avocados is now just over $4. It had gotten up to like $8 just a few months ago. Um, so I was really, really happy to see the price go back down for those. This is another treat that is going in my husband's birthday basket. The um, sea salt caramels. He, his favorite are the dark chocolate. I'm pretty sure these are just milk chocolate. Yeah, they are, but that's okay. I know Costco has the dark chocolate, but I wasn't heading over there today. Uh, another three liter bottle of olive oil with the holidays upon us in the next month and a half. Um, I went ahead and got a new package of um, foil pans. I haven't used them in a while. I've just been using my glass Pyrex dishes, but these are super handy when prepping food ahead of time, bringing food to other people, or even um, doing freezer meals because none of my glass Pyrex dishes have hard tops on them. So it's just handy to have these. I usually top them with one um, covering of foil and then I double wrap them in plastic wrap. I got six pounds of sharp cheddar because Sam's has the best price per pound on cheddar. My kids wait for these all year. I refuse to buy hot chocolate mix. I know you can make it um, from scratch. My mother-in-law makes some, but I find that you need so much of the homemade mix in order to make it taste good, whereas you just need like two little spoonfuls of the Swiss Miss. And it is the best deal per serving when they have these big canisters around the holidays or really when it starts to get cooler. I've never purchased this big can of boiled peanuts before, but boiled peanuts, like hot, fresh boiled peanuts, are a tradition for us when we go get our Christmas tree at a big local farm, like where they actually cut it down for you, and then we go and have hot chocolate or apple cider and boiled peanuts, and these big cans were $6, and I thought that would be fun on one of these cool days, our weather's cooling off, we can have that as a snack. So I picked up that can, and we'll see how it compares to the fresh ones that we like at the Christmas tree farm. Can't go to Sam's without their big $20 pack of toilet paper. I did buy 12 pounds of butter. These work out to $3.70 a pound, which is the best price that I'm able to find lately. Um, I did go ahead and buy two more containers of non-fat Greek yogurt. And once we get down to the last serving, I'm going to go ahead and save these containers and start making my own again. It's been a while since I've done that, but my husband and my youngest have been on a kick with um, homemade granola and honey with plain Greek yogurt. And so it's definitely going to be more economical to make it myself. Um, we are out of, of um, sriracha and I cannot find it anywhere. So if you know of grocery stores, especially if you're local to me, that have sriracha in stock, will you let me know in the comments? Um, I remember during COVID when Cholula was sold out everywhere and I had to buy this gigantic like half gallon refill bottle from Amazon and it was so worth it. But I'm thinking I may end up having to do that with sriracha because sriracha and Cholula are really our two favorite hot sauces. Um, in my comparison video, you saw that this um, unsweetened Mott's applesauce, the name brand, is actually cheaper than Walmart or Aldi's applesauce per ounce, so I went ahead and restocked those. We will be going to pick apples in North Carolina um, by the sometime by the end of the month, but this saves me a whole lot of time because it's cheap. Um, to go ahead and buy this unsweetened applesauce and then I can use the apples that we get for all kinds of other fun goodies. Moving on to Walmart, I needed to restock the mayo in our pantry, so I got eight of those. 
three more sour creams. Those probably will not last us the whole month. I will say, guys, that I was really surprised with how many gaps there were on the shelves today. There were just lots of things where certain sizes were completely sold out, um, store brands were completely sold out. There were a lot of gaps. So normally, this is a 30 ounce mayonnaise. I'm pretty sure I normally buy like a 48 ounce. It's the biggest Walmart brand one that they sell. And those were nowhere to be found. There wasn't even a spot on the shelf for them. Um, I got two more coffee creamers for my teenagers and my husband. Um, some feminine products. These tiny little, these are like as big as my hand. Um, whole wheat carb conscious tortillas. I really prefer the bigger ones and I don't prefer the whole wheat ones as far as flavor. But these were the only low carb tortillas on the shelf. I should have looked at Aldi. Um, another thing that I needed at Walmart because it was cheaper at Walmart was cabbage, like just green cabbage. And they were completely sold out. It didn't say it on the app or I would have gone ahead and gotten it at Aldi. So I'm going to have to go back to Aldi to get cabbage and something else. And I'm going to go ahead and get some more of their low carb tortillas. Um, I also got two zucchini, but I was so hungry by the time I got home from grocery shopping that I went ahead and um, diced one up and ate it with some leftover shrimp. Um, I'm restocking our toiletry storage, so I picked up some more conditioner from my girls and um, more toothpaste. Um, I picked up a big pack, a big container of the refrigerator pickles. These are our very favorite. They're so good. Um, about 10 packages of frozen broccoli because their big packages were sold out. So these are like 10, 12 ounce bags. Um, my little kids love to pack string cheese or cheese sticks in their lunches, but they prefer different kinds. I love the Colby Jack ones, and my, my youngest really likes the mozzarella string cheese. Um, I got two pounds of turkey and two pounds of ham some angel hair coleslaw and some um, mixed coleslaw six more packs of our regular deodorant and two packs of the natural deodorant that my husband likes some nails for my daughter for homecoming chapstick um, a brow brush some bobby pins and some sparkly hair clips and that's it that is going to get us through the next month. We've got lots of food storage and I actually just planted some fall seeds over the weekend. I'm looking forward to that. Celery, cabbage, broccoli, collards, kale, lettuce, and spinach. Thanks for watching.